Musicals are just sparkly. Musicals are fluff. Musicals are boring, too dramatic, and have no substance. Isn't it just a play with music? Musical theater is one of the most misunderstood storytelling genres, so it's no surprise that some people think these things are true. But today, we're gonna change all of that by examining what exactly makes a musical and how we can appreciate them. Appreciate them like a fine, dry red wine. Or like a, a, a sweet blush, if that's what you're into. Cause like, I mean, I'm not gonna judge you based on your preference of wine or like what kind of flavors you like. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Ratty, AKA Musical Theater Writer Guy. Musical Theater Writer Guy. That's me. Welcome to my channel where I talk about everything musical theater from a writing perspective. I upload videos every other Friday, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss an episode. As a performer with something in his eye, oops. As a performer, composer, lyricist, librettist, musical director, and vocal coach, I believe that understanding effective musical theater storytelling can help all kinds of theater makers to create and enjoy high quality art and entertainment. Whether you're a writer, a performer, director, designer, producer, stagehand, audience member, a professional artist, aspiring, or you simply love the theater, my goal is to present you with an informational toolkit that will help to enhance your theatrical experiences and bolster your enjoyment of the theater. Now, here we are, nine glorious episodes into this educational YouTube journey, and it occurred to me that I forgot the exposition. I broke all the structural storytelling rules that I spoke about in that miniseries, and I never established our world. What is musical theater? Well, my program says that this is gonna be a musical and I should probably know what that is. So let's get going. Do you have that person or people in your life who like to say, ugh, it's a musical? Or I hate musical theater. The kind of people whose opinion cuts straight to your core and smushes your musical theater loving heart into a creamy pulp. Well, I'm here today to tell you that yeah, their opinion is valid. Wait, what? Michael, you're supposed to be on our side, not against us. I am, dear cast member, but I think it's important to start this conversation from two places. Number one, a lot of people don't like musical theater because they don't understand it, and we can do something about that. And number two, not everyone is going to like musical theater, and that's okay. It is, I promise, I promise. But. For those people out there who want to like musical theater or who are willing to give musical theater a chance, I'd like to welcome you into our community to learn a little bit about what it is that we do. I firmly believe that it's very difficult to like something if you don't know what it is, what it's trying to do, and how it's trying to do it. So, again, what is musical theater? Musical theater is, at its very core, live performance that uses text, movement, visuals, and vocalized music to tell a story. Now, most mainstream visual storytelling media use all of these components except for live vocalized music. Think of most TV, film, and even plays, which use all the rest of these components. Then what really makes it different than other visual storytelling media? Well, the components that stand out here are text, live performance, and vocalized music. But we can't halt the definition there, now can we? I already hear the objections brewing, but what about concerts or the opera? Ice cream, anyone? And these are good questions, so now we have to take it one step further. In musical theater, the text is the central storytelling element, which includes both the script and the lyrics, whereas the music supports the text by creating atmosphere, giving sound to subtext, and aiding comprehension. Did I lose ya? Are you gone? Oh no, you're still there. Good. So what does all this mean? It means that in musical theater, the text provides the story and the character elements where the music provides all of the emotional colors. Now, I, I see that we still have some questions. Uh, 
Yes, you. But, but, but why are people singing? That's just part of the genre. Singing is pleasant and effective, so we use vocal music. And that's not for everyone. I mean, not everyone likes the formulaic nature of murder mystery novels, and not everyone's going to like musical theater singing. Yes, you. Uh, but why does everything have to rhyme? Well, it doesn't. Often musicals rely on rhymes, but not always. Rhymes are there to help the audience understand what is happening without having to listen too hard. In fact, I made a whole video about it. Uh, yes, you? Why does everything feel so overly dramatic? Excellent question. Well, I already mentioned how music is used both to create atmosphere and to give sound to subtext. And when subtext is made more prevalent, everything feels more dramatic, naturally. Other genres do this too. Soap operas rely on over-the-top acting and dramatic camera shots. And crime dramas rely on overly blatant conversations and punchy one-liners to make sure you don't miss anything. For musicals, we just give music to the subtext. Is that why musicals just feel so weird? Or like old school? Or like just not pop-y? Modern music genres do show emotion through the music. I mean, when Adele is blasting through your earbuds, you know she's feeling things. It's actually the way that musical theater songs are structured that makes them feel particularly unique. They're built to continue telling the story, not to just sit in one state of emotion. But that's also the reason that they don't make great radio songs. They're written for your focus, not just as a soundscape. Okay, well, I'm sure there are more big questions out there beyond these, and feel free to always ask in the comment section. But I think we have successfully covered the basics of what makes a musical a musical. If you're not a musical theater fan, you hopefully at least now have a better idea of why musicals are written the way that they are and what it is that theater makers are trying to do. And if you go into a musical armed with this knowledge, even if it's not your favorite flavor, you may just start to appreciate the art form and enjoy yourself. And that, my friends, is what makes musical theater musical theater. It's a specific type of visual and auditory storytelling medium, which isn't so baffling once you understand what it's doing, why, and how. And though it will never be for everyone, it's far more accessible and enjoyable than lots of people realize. All right, fellow cast members, now it's time to hear your thoughts. If you liked this video and are interested in hearing more, make sure to hit that like button and more importantly, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about today's episode. Did this change your mind at all? Will you be showing this to any friends or family members? Did I leave out any major questions that still need to be answered? The theater is a community and I want this channel to be an extension of that community. So I do want to hear from you. And if you'd like to become a part of our Patreon community with more information and more access, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below, knowing that I could not do all that I do without you and your support. The next episode will arrive in two weeks, but in the meantime, you can gather some more musical theater knowledge by clicking here. Thank you all for being here with me today, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers! YouTube, no. Oh, I was right. We can do that for now. One more time. One more time. Uh,